It was it Chrysostom who said that the path to hell is paved with the skulls of bishops? I'd like that to be like a, on, a, on a bishop's motto. Mm. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm, I don't want to bash the bishops. I, well, you I, didn't. I, I, I know a lot did, of so them. You're fine. I, yeah, I know a lot of them. I, I think a lot of them are just really good men, really good men who haven't been prepared for this, who don't know how to interpret the science of the times, who don't really. Tell need... us about some good bishops then. Yeah, let's well, I celebrate think, them. Let's, yeah, well, let's praise them. Let's well, tweet been, at been, them and yeah, thank them. Yeah, I've been talking about Archbishop Garcia G- Gomez, who's president of the Bishops Conference. He's he's stepping out. Good. You know, thank and, God. and and uh, you know, I, I might do a YouTube video on his recent Please, recent yeah. speech. Yeah, and we that need thing. to do that. We need to. I mean, honestly, part of why we need to shed a light on what good bishops are doing yeah. is to even appeal to the pride of other bishops who think, well, maybe it's safe now to do this. Like, we just want to kind yeah. of encourage well, them. Well, I'm hoping enough emerge that others who are timid and fearful feel like, maybe I could do this. Yeah. Maybe I could tackle it. Maybe, and now maybe, would be a good time. Yeah, it sure Please. would be. Yeah. Well, now is the hour of salvation. Come yeah. on, if you hear his voice today, harder and harder. But uh, Archbishop Aquila in Denver, uh, he did a remarkable essay. I did a YouTube video on this uh, that he uh, he published in America Magazine. You can get it on his website on the Archbishop of Denver, Archdiocese of Denver website. And he said, you know, for for the last number of years, I've been trying to uh, not rock the boat and God you know aff- affirm the culture and everything i realized that i haven't been preaching the whole truth to people and i need to change Holy moly. I, I know i know it's really really significant bless him yeah what so, humility and yeah. courage yeah so I, I i i did a youtube video on that and uh it, strickland's great too i yeah. had strickland he was in that chair uh, I yeah. interviewed him, and I would ask him questions about how do you think the bishops have failed in this sense or this. And whenever I asked him a question like that, he'd say, "Well, I can tell you how I failed." Yeah, yeah, a real humble man who loves yeah. our Lord. Yeah, I think he's really good too. I honestly, I get a little uncomfortable when he brings in the vaccine and the mask stuff. I into, think he, I think into, he's, I think I, I, this is one of the things I love about him. And I'll let you finish your point. Yeah, I, I yeah. cut you off, but he's a humble guy. Like I drove him here from the place we were at and 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 i had mentioned a few of those things and and it you got the impression that he was really willing to listen you Mm -hmm. know so when the cdf will say it's not it's not an evil thing to take the vaccine he he it seems like he stopped talking about that yeah i I, I, I don't know i i I think i still see stuff you know but uh okay you know but uh, again he he's he's brave he's courageous i admire him a great deal I, i i wish Sometimes we wouldn't bring in, at least in my opinion, secondary issues that yeah. detract from yeah. the center. But, you know, that's just, yeah. he has yeah. to do what he feels like the Lord's asking him to do. And, you know. No, it, it, it's it's true. I mean, we're looking for saints, and, and most of us aren't that. We're just people who are trying to love Jesus and who have our own stuff and baggage and things we like yeah. to harp on about, and we need correction as yeah. well. Yeah. But okay, so you've mentioned three. Can we do yeah, well, that? Yeah, I think Archbishop Court alone <laughs> is, uh, is stepping out. Good. He's coming up to the very brink of doing what needs to be done, but he, mm. he hasn't pulled the trigger yet. Cross it. Well, he's he's now he's now asking for people to pray and fast and offer sacrifices for Nancy Pelosi's conversion, which is a very <clears throat> charitable thing to do, very powerful thing to do. Uh, but I think he needs to excommunicate her. Yeah. I think it's ridiculous. I this mean, is beyond ridiculous. Yeah, it's beyond ridiculous. You know, I think, I think Biden needs to be excommunicated. I think just saying you shouldn't bring yourself to communion type of thing is like a half step. You know, I, I think when somebody is publicly advocating killing babies, and or, or like Cardinal Gregory says, we need to dialogue with these people. He's been dialogue with till the cows come home, and what the dialogue has produced is more and more radical pro-abortion positions. You know, he he's obviously made his choice, and he's doubled down, and he's tripled down. I, I'm concerned for us all. I, I think he he violated his conscience, what was still left of it regarding abortion, in order to get elected, in order to appeal to the radical left. You know, when he he gave up any limitations on abortion any any limitations on funding and he just kind of totally surrendered to the radical pro abortion this this might be cynical or it might just be the way things are but i would suspect that if uh, trump had have been a catholic that many of our bishops would have been in favor of uh, excommunicating him yeah. but, but not 
not this Joseph Biden. Fella. Yeah, yeah. I mean, building a wall is really terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, man alive. Yeah. So uh, you know, Archbishop Quillo, Archbishop Chapu has been the lone voice for many years, speaking clarity, speaking truth, spe- speaking reason. And even though he's retired and wants to get out of the fray and he deserves a rest, you know, when Cardinal Gregory said he's going to keep giving communion to President Biden, Archbishop Chapu out of his retirement said, can't do that. Can't do that. If we believe what we say about the Eucharist, we can't mm-hmm. do that. Bishop Proproski, I don't know how to pronounce his name, from a pure Proproski, uh, same thing. He says, you know, he says, people who are holding this position shouldn't present themselves for communion. So here we have the bishops in a few weeks are out ready to do a document on the Eucharist. Is this, <coughs> real quick, is this, the who's the bishop, Cordelion? Cordelion, San Francisco. Is he on Twitter? I don't know. <laughs> if he is, could everybody start tweeting him to excommunicate Nancy Pelosi? That'd be great. Keep going. Yeah, anyway, so, <laughs> you know, I think, I think. Uh, but bishops conference. Yeah. You well, the Bishop's said, yeah. Conference is going to do a document on the Eucharist, and they're embarking on a really good endeavor to try to re-energize Catholics, you know, this Eucharistic uh, endeavor over the next several years. They're going to teach on the Eucharist. They're going to have Eucharistic conferences and Eucharistic processions and everything, and that's really, really good. Uh, but they're they're probably going to avoid the issue. Yeah, they, are, they will. I you, know, you know, and um, because they don't have unity, so they can't, as a Bishop's Conference, say anything. But I, I think even if that's the case, which I think it probably will be, uh, and the scandal of Catholic politicians advocating abortion uh, will continue, individual bishops need to step up and, and, and take action in their own dioceses because they, they have to answer to the Lord. You know. yeah. yeah, that's it. Amen. Thank you so much for watching that clip. If you enjoyed it, do us a favor by clicking like and subscribe. And if you really liked it, consider sharing. Thanks.